I want to get out to Cranston now for the very latest on this breaking news we brought you first at 430 this morning. Yeah, a home that was fully engulfed in flames has now collapsed. We're seeing some pretty dramatic video from Cranston this morning. Pinpoint News Tracker also shows you where it's happening. Lincoln Avenue, which is off of Cranston Street. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh has been live on the scene now for about an hour or so. You got there when the house was fully engulfed, Kate. And since then, as we just mentioned, that house collapsed. Yeah, it's been a pretty dangerous past half hour. We made the executive decision here to push back from the scene a bit for our own safety. We were standing on a lawn of a, a man's house across the street from where the fire was. As you saw, the heavy flames in the last uh, time we were live here. But since then, the house collapsed, and I just happened to be getting some video on my phone when that happened. So you may uh, see that there. But at that moment, it, the smoke just billowed out even more and it wasn't just in the sky it was at ground level and the wind blew it right into our face at that point I couldn't even see my photographer it was almost impossible to breathe thick black smoke couldn't see anything around us and you know you kind of feel trapped and I think uh, as someone who reports the news we try to stay safe of course but for people who may be experiencing that in a house fire or firefighters I mean it is unbelievable and tragic, really awful to experience that. And, uh, you know, it was kind of an, uh, something that we hadn't really seen prior to that moment. So certainly an appreciation for sure for the Cranston firefighters out here. In terms of information about the actual fire, well, firefighters are still very busy putting out those flames now that the house has collapsed. So they're not able to step away and give us uh, some information. They might not even have anything confirmed yet. What I can tell you is that the flames were really thick and heavy uh, around 4 o'clock and just before 4 o'clock when uh, we were here. And we did see several people without jackets on and just walking down the street, some children even, so we're assuming that they were in the home. Now, the lawn of the man's house across the street where we were standing, we spoke to that man. He said he's lived here for 41 years. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the smoke is difficult to breathe in. Uh, and he said it seems like a lot of people live in that home. It definitely looks like a multifamily apartment building, uh, but he wasn't sure how many people. He said he's never seen anything like this. It's just unbelievable to watch unfold in front of his eyes. So as you can imagine, Lincoln Avenue is closed right now. Uh, it's still a very active scene and lots of water on Lincoln Avenue. It's basically flooded here. So the firefighters are up against that. The snow falling, the thick black smoke, trying to put out the flames and make sure everyone around the area stays safe and that the flames didn't spread. Up against a lot this morning, we're going to continue to update you throughout the morning. And then the next half hour, you'll hear uh, from that neighbor I spoke with uh, yourself. Live in Cranston, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.